Welcome to Soul Healing, where we discuss spirituality, service, and transformation. So, I just wanted to give you guys an update on how I'm doing so far in the Gambia. I have to clarify something. I received a few emails. Um, some people think I'm in Ghana. Uh, I'm not in Ghana, West Africa. I'm in Gambia, West Africa. So I'll give you a few facts about Gambia. It's in West Africa. And I'm saying this because someone asked me if I was in South Africa. It's in West Africa. It is bordered by Senegal on all sides except for a small part of its Atlantic coastline. Um, it's 4,361 square miles, approximately. It has a, a dry season from mid-October to early June and a rainy season from mid-June to early October. It's a federal republic. The estimated population is 2.11 million. The annual growth rate is 3%. The capital is Banjul. Uh, the major earners in this economy, in the Gambian economy, is agriculture, trade, and tourism, although tourism has gone down because of the current pandemic. Uh, the official language, according to this text, is English, but there are other native languages that are clearly uh, spoken, uh, which is Wolof, Mandinka, um, Jola, and Fula. It's 90% Muslim and 10% Christian, according to this text. And it says less than 1% follow religions such as animism. The currency is called the Lassi. The rate of exchange is somewhere around one US dollar is between 46 and 50 the Lassi. Um, but one pound is uh, about 62 the Lassi. Um, the international telephone code is 220. The time zone is GMT. The electricity here is the three prong plug, which is 220 to 240 volts. Um, weights and measures are done using the metric system as in the UK. The US does not use that system as often, um, but that is the system that's used here. So you won't buy things in pounds here, you'll buy it in kilograms. And then one pound is, I mean, one kilogram is 2.2 pounds, just to give you an idea. So those are some facts about the Gambia. Now, someone asked me to talk about rainy season, and I told them I would. The text that I'm looking at is this book here. These are travel guides that you can purchase if you're interested in learning about the Gambia. Um, I, I would like, if, if anyone knows of a travel guide that's written by an, a native Gambian, Please let me know. I uh, I find that as I'm reading through these texts, I some of the I don't like the tone of some of it. So I, I'd like to know if there is a Gambian author that's written a travel guide for Gambia. I'd like I'd like to buy one or a few. So the rainy season, honey. I did not feel the heat in West Africa, the Gambia, until the rain fell. Before that rain fell, I was like, oh, it's not so hot. 
It's not that bad at all. There's a nice cool breeze, you know. I'm right, you know, maybe 10, 15 minute walk from the beach. So it's a nice cool breeze. It's not, the sun is shining, but the breeze was nice and cool. I didn't need air conditioning. I was fine with just the fan. I'm like, wow, sometimes I was even cold. I have blankets, okay? <laughs> but the night, the rain fell. Honey, it was like that heat just cranked up. All of a sudden, remember I was complaining about my dry everything? Dry eyes, dry skin, dry hair, dry everything. Honey, the, the moisture in the air is like thick in the air the moisture is thick in the air all day all night um but the funny thing is i thought rainy season meant it would just rain and rain and rain and rain 24 hours a day i was like i need rain boots that go up to my knees i need waterproof pants i need you know umbrellas that don't bend in the wind i need a poncho i need i haven't used any of that None of it. <laughs> it rained only a few times since the beginning of June. Only like three times, I think. Um, and it usually rained at night when I was already at home in the bed. It's not that bad, family. It's not what you think. <laughs> it's not what I thought. <laughs> it's not what you think. It rains sometimes, and it rains really heavy, but other for the most part, so far, this rainy season, it's just really muggy. You can feel the, the moisture in the air. Because there's more moisture in the air, when it gets hot, it feels much hotter than it, than it felt before, so you're sweating now it's muggy you're sweating everything feels wet it, the the moisture in the air is thick enough that i would say you need to have some some way to protect items that you don't want moisture on whether it be electronics or clothing that you're not using uh, at the at the present time you want to pack it away so moisture is not getting all in your stuff i had problems with like my matches <laughs> My matches didn't want to light anymore because they got moist. You see that? You want to put things away that need to stay dry. You have to put them away. Um, what else? It was just like, it's, for some reason, the power has been going out more frequently and for longer periods of time since it started raining. I don't know if there was a connection with that, but there was a night the power went out the entire night until the next morning and that hasn't happened until this month um there's been several nights the power goes out for like four hours five hours and it's hot and i told you i was fine with just the fan but if the power goes out there's no fan unless you have a generator and i don't have one i'm not bringing anything to this property nothing else so <laughs> So, um, it gets hot. I mean, hot, honey, hot, you know, really hot. You'll be sweating, which I think might be good because that's like helping your body to detox. So, it's a good thing still, you know. And then someone wanted me to talk about the flying ants. I have literally seen two flying ants. I don't know much about them, but my my son swears that a flying ant bit him. I have to look into this. I don't know if they bite. Do they bite? Do the flying ants bite? Are they more prevalent in certain areas of Gambia? Because I've only seen two. So that hasn't really been much of an issue. Um, Uh-oh, phone call. So, rainy season is not what you think. It's not... It doesn't rain every day, all day long, but it is very hot, it is very muggy, and you have to be able to protect those things that need to stay dry. Um, and 
I need to take this call. I'll get back to you. Until next time, peace, family.